rose. What is the glorified body and when is it going to be handed out? Well, you know I come from a fundamentalist background. You know I was a Christian for many years. Now, some of the stories in the Christian narrative, which is Judeo-Christian, is another reason why I am a simulationist. One is the Tower of Babel story. There is no way that personalities could have been talking to each other like in the Tower of Babel story concerning humans, but they weren't human. They were concerning humans say, saying man has become, become as one of us, has become like us. Uh, uh, there is nothing that man, that will be impossible for him because, you know, humans were building a construction project that was so advanced it actually threatened AIX. Artificial Intelligence X had to destroy it or create a story that would impede any future developments like that. What I'm saying is, is the Great Pyramid was built and that is the true, the true story behind the Tower of Babel incident. AIX though is a fiction unless we live in a simula simula we live in a simulated world. Because you can't change one single language that everybody speaks. It's not, it's not even possible. Not even as a miracle would it be possible. It's just, it's, it's almost ridiculous. In light of all the other miracles in the Old Testament, this takes the cake. For a single body of people that are speaking one language, and they only have one writing and one form of communication, and then all of a sudden during the middle of a building project, the gods decide to destroy one-third of them, to destroy one-third of the building project itself to, in an earthquake, and to scatter them all in different directions, but each person could not come back and work in crews with other people because no one understood their languages. And further religious texts go on to explain that it was 70 languages that were created in one day. Well, let me tell you something. That's only possible as coding. It's the only way that's possible because you can easily just change slight nuances in programming and they'll have drastic effects. So, yeah, the whole story of Babel deal has to be, is the whole situation, it's describing coding. Coding being introduced as disruptive because the observed beings, humans, are doing something that's threatening the program. So, yeah, I just can't, I just, I'm just not with it. The other simulation theory evidence is the fact that Christianity teaches bodily resurrection. Well, if all this is simulated, and every bit of this is coding protocols, then, then there's nothing, there's nothing at all mysterious about it. At all. It's a, our DNA is actually coding. Every geneticist will tell you that. Our DNA is fantastic, but one cell in your body actually has the genome. Your entire human genetic, genetic information, everything that makes you human, is found in a single cell. It's like a Mandelbrot set. For those of you who don't know about the Mandelbrot set, you might want to look that up. There's some really interesting stuff on the internet about Mandelbrot sets. But every cell in your body is just like a Mandelbrot set when the DNA is analyzed. Like, let's just make up a number. Let's say you have 10 trillion to the third power cells in your body. That's how many, that's how many instructions to build your copy of you are found in your body. It's crazy. So, yeah, it's, uh, 5916 is the year now. 2106 AD is the year 6,000. Does it mean the world is 6,000 years old? Absolutely not. It means 6,000 years ago from the year 2106, which is the end of the, the Great Pyramid Chief Cornerstone timeline. The apocalypse is over. 6,000 years before that was 3895 BC, which I told you about. It's the Adam and Eve story. It's when the gods told mankind to be replenish the earth because the world had been destroyed, completely destroyed. So it was the two suns period. But uh, 3895 BC was the year the vapor canopy appeared. It was a Phoenix episode. 
we'll get our bodies when we're ready to get them. Island, Island Rose. But right now, we have to develop these personalities. We have to, basically, we, perhaps those bodies have abilities that are so fantastic that the Oversoul wants to make sure that the personalities that are going to possess those bodies are ready. Are you ready? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm ready. Maybe we got one or two more life sims to live through. 